Hi, I'm Antonia. This is Universally Me. In my last video, I shared with you some facts about the movie Frankenstein, and one of those was that the earliest adaptation of the film was made in 1910 by Edison Studios. In doing my research for that video, I actually found the original, and I thought I'd upload it here so you could watch it. The original original, from what I read, was about 15 or 16 minutes, um, but this version's really closer to 13, and I think that's all that survived or still exists today. Also, some people will say it was produced by Edison, but as far as I can tell, his only real involvement was that it was made at his studio. The movie stars Augustus Phillips as Dr. Frankenstein, Mary Fuller as the doctor's fiance, and Charles Ogle as the monster, and it was directed by J. Searle Dolly. One of the unique things about this film is that it, the monster is really created from chemicals and potions as opposed to being assembled or formed from already existing parts, which a lot of the later movies did. And it's hard to get a really good look at the monster because this is before they really used close-ups or probably before they even, you know, had invented close-ups. But uh, one of the really cool monster moments in the film is its creation. And supposedly what they did to get that was they took a dummy and they set it on fire and then played that in reverse. So really cutting edge special effects, but they actually were for that day. And um, yeah, it's, it's really cool to see. So ultimately this isn't the greatest version of Frankenstein ever to exist, but uh, well, and I, I think we know which is the greatest Frankenstein to ever exist. But it's still definitely a monumental film, historical, important, and definitely worth watching. So here you go.
Thank <laughs> you. 